everyone, it's Devorah here. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you about um, the differences between human hair wigs and synthetic wigs. Um, you hear a lot um, about synthetic, um, heat friendly, regular synthetic, human hair, all different types of human hair. And if this um, is something that you're interested in, um, then stick around and we'll talk some more about it. Okay, let's get into it. You are thinking of buying your first wig and you're not sure uh, which route you wanna go down. Do you wanna invest a lot of money and buy yourself a human hair wig? Or do you want to spend less and get a synthetic wig? And will that last as long? So there's pros and cons to both of them. Um, I started off my wig journey just wearing human hair. Um, I just thought that's the way to go. If I'm gonna wear a wig, then uh, human hair um, is the most natural looking and that's what I wanted. So um, all my wigs were human hair. You spend a lot of money and when you get your human hair wig, it's not styled. So you have to take it to a stylist um, unless you buy it pre-cut, which I have bought a pre-cut, but it's not necessarily pre-cut for you. Like it's pre-cut, but maybe the bangs are still long. It may be not fit the shape of your, of your face. It may be not be in a style that you particularly want. Um, and also the color, it could be a color that you don't want either. Um, unless of course you get it customized, which, um, you would get the, the length that you want, the color you want, the style that you want, but you're, paying for all these extras. So let's just say you buy a human hair wig as it comes, like just no styling. So then you have to take it to your stylist. And um, so that's another thing. And then if you also, also if you wanna get it colored and customized, then that's another thing. So there, it really is a huge investment. But the advantage of having a human hair wig is that it is, of course, human hair so it's very very natural it looks natural um and it's going to last you a long long time and you wash it basically like regular hair bio bio hair you wash it the same way it dries the same way you can style it you can blow dry it you can f straighten it you can curl it you can do absolutely everything you would do if it was growing out of your head it's exactly the same the disadvantages of having a human hair wig is, of course, first of all, the expense are forking out a lot of money for this one wig. Um, and so you're not really gonna be in in the market to buy another wig very shortly. So you, you, you could wear this wig every day for sure. You can wear it every day um, and then once a week you could wash it and then wear it again and, and that would be fine. Um, but once you get onto this wig, wig journey, you do get addicted. That is for sure. If you ask any of the wig sisters out there, they're going to tell you that nobody really only owns one wig. It can get boring very fast. So here's where the synthetic wigs come in. Synthetic wigs are already pre-cut into a style. It's in a color. It's in a color that you like. You go onto the website or you go into the wig store and you can pick exactly what you imagined you want in a wig. And you put it on and it's ready to put on your head and ready to go. It's You don't need to take it to a stylist unless you want to cut in bangs or if you, if you, if you don't like the style at the bottom, you want to cut it a little bit different. That's very rare. Um, mostly when you buy a synthetic wig, you're buying it because of the style and the color and the feel and the weight it is. Now, there's different ranges of uh, prices in synthetic also. Yeah, very, very cheap wigs off the internet. Um, and usually these are not for daily use. They're usually for maybe if you're dressing up for a party or something like that, um, like a one-off. Because if you wear them on a daily basis, the fibers are just gonna dry out and it's, they're gonna get tangled and it's just not gonna last. Um, then you've got 
the higher end um, of synthetic wigs, um, you know, like Raquel Welch, John Renault, all these labels that you will find when you go hunting in a wig store or online. But you are getting what you what you pay for, basically. You're getting a very high quality synthetic fiber. Um, and they look and feel and they just look so natural. They look and they feel very, very realistic. Um, now, the only thing with the synthetic wigs is they don't last as long as human hair. Um, you can wear it again on a daily basis, but it's going to run out if you do that. So as again, as I say, a lot of wig sisters have to buy more than one so they can rotate and their wigs will last longer. Even by washing them, the lifespan of a synthetic wig is not going to be as long as a human hair. So this is the disadvantage. You can get a lot of wigs on sale, 30%, 40%, 50%. Um, on the wig sites, they're always doing some sort of promotion and you could pick up a lot cheaper wigs, but still good quality. Now within the synthetics, they have the heat fiber, which is fiber that you can take heat to, like a low heat. You can uh, flat straighten it, you can curl it, but it doesn't work the same way as human hair that when you wash it, it will just go back to the regular here it was with synthetic once you put heat to it and you change the style pattern then it's going to stay like that so if you've straightened it and then you wash it it's going to stay straightened so this is another thing synthetic heat friendly wigs you can curl them and then straighten them and then curl them. but there's a, a there's a technique to it that you have to learn it's not just like the way you would uh do it with human hair wigs um Heat friendly also has been known not to last as long as synthetic. So again, the expiry on them is less. Uh, maybe I would take a month or so off. So normally they would say if you're wearing on a daily basis, um, they would last maybe three, four months. Then, then heat friendly is going to last less than that. So again, this is where it's best to have uh, at least three, four wigs so you can rotate. So if you think about it, your three, four wigs maybe add up to your one human hair wig. Uh, and this way you have different styles. You can change um, the color. You can, you know, change it up with your outfit. Um, and this is why a lot of women like the synthetics. Um, so as I said at the beginning of the video, I started off with human hair wigs only. And I did take it to stylist and I did get them colored. But I did, you do, you get bored with them and they also don't last forever. So, you know, they start getting bald and some hair starts falling out. And so I decided to try the synthetic route and I'm absolutely loving that as well. It's not just the synthetics. I will still keep on buying human hair because I do love them. But the synthetic is a nice change. It gives you instant style, instant color um, at a lesser price. So if you are starting this wig journey and you're really not sure, I would suggest putting down in paper um, what's important to you. Is it the quality, um, the longevity? Then most probably a human hair wig is probably the best for you. If you're looking for st styling options, different styling options, um, changing it up once in a while, and not spending too much on each wig, then I guess start with synthetics. Um, this is a good starting point. Within the synthetics and within the human hair, there's different grades as well. It's kind of like diamonds where you can get like a, uh, a diamond that um, is less valuable than another type of clear, clear diamond. So it's the same sort of thing. And it goes by um, also the wig cap. The different things... Um, the wig cap, there's different types of wig caps. There's basic caps, there's there's lace, lace uh, full lace caps, there's silk caps, there's monofilament caps, there's all that you can get lost in all the different types of caps. So you really need to do your homework. Um, and this is for both, for human and for synthetic. Um, 
if you wanted to start off with just a basic cap, then your price is definitely going to be lower. Um, but it's not as realistic if you want no bangs um, at the front because you don't have this kind of like lace front where it looks more like a, like um, a, like your scalp. If you're wearing bangs, then you don't need a lace front. You just need to have a basic cap and it just looks amazing like that too. So maybe you should start off like that. And then you could sweep the bang to the side and it, you're still having a little bit off your face, but um, it, it will it'll look more natural. And this is a way to save money as well. Um, also, there's like hand tied caps, which mean the every single fiber on the wig is being hand tied uh, one by one onto the wig and this also puts the price up so if you're wondering on the, on the wig sites why each wig is like different prices this is what you have to look for there's different things going on in the cap going on in the fiber that you have to look for um so have you have, have any questions that you would like to ask me about buying your first wig on your wig journey please drop me a comment i'll get back to you um, if I can help you, that would be um, great for me. I would love to help you on your wig journey. And um, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.